Hello, <coughs> this is Rob from Rims Models. Uh, this is just before we start my first update. I'd just like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers and all your comments on my latest videos. It's really kind. So let's take a look. This is my new build, which is the Mini Art British Lorry, three ton B type. And I'm actually doing the coal coal truck version which is actually on the box art so so far excellent kit no problems at all it fits excellent um, instructions are easy to follow it's a really detailed really really detailed well I'll just uh, spin it round I'll show you a proper closer look in a minute well, as you can see everything's only dry fitted all the wheels are, are loose the, the, the um, the bed of the truck's loose, the cab's loose, the radiator and that, it's all loose. As you can see, super, super detailed. It's brilliant, it's going really, really well. As you can see. Still still plenty of parts to fit yet. Uh, and there's um, a nice bit of photo etch as well, just to liven it up. As you can see, the wood grain on this bed is absolutely amazing. Well, like I said, I'll show you closer up in a minute. Let me just do this. I'll just bring it round here for you so you can see. Well, if you're thinking of, if you're thinking of buying this kit, do because it's really, really good. Right, so what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this off, move this out of the way, and then I'll show you. Well, basically. Here's the engine. Amazing detail. So far, everything's straight out of the box. I'll just show you in a minute. On the actual engine, I don't know if you can see. There, I don't know why you can pick that up. I've actually done, I've used some fishing line to do the wiring. So when I've painted the engine, I'll sort of highlight them. Yeah, that's actually 12 pound fishing line and I think I think it looks pretty good yeah super detail as you can see All right, so that's the engine I'll show you the, the cab this is all glued together there you can see no injector pin marks anywhere I didn't have to worry about anything like that. Yeah, got a nice bit of wood texture there to do as well. But this should really paint up nice. Yeah, as you can see. Really, really nice. The fit, like I say, the fit's been absolutely bang on, no problems at all. Right, let's just pull this off. I don't know how well you can see that wood texture. Uh, it's really hard to see. But there, there, can you just make that out? That's going to paint up really nice. Weather up really nice. Super detailed all around. I've also I've left the back loose so I can have it I can have it up and down if I want. I haven't I haven't decided yet whether to have it open or closed. And inside like I say, no ejector pin marks anywhere to worry about. All the ones that are on are, are well hid, so you're not going to see them. So that's that piece. There's the, the little uh, bulkhead. Oops. No, there's only a couple of parts of photo etch to fit on that. The rest of it is that's how already moulded in. There, like that. Then the radiator there you've got some bits of photo etch there it's four bits of photo etch on that there's quite a few parts just to build that I've got a little um, wing nut to put on that I haven't put it on because just in case I break it off but when I'm ready to paint it also just glue it on there so that's the radiator and then We've got the the floor of the cab, again up 
nice wood texture on it. There's no ejector pins anywhere. I think Mini Arts have really knocked it out of the park this one. The detail and that. And then we'll come to the there's still bits to fit on this yet. The wheels are loose. The wheels aren't fitted yet. Well, as you can see, super detail. Let me just let's zoom in out a little bit so it might be a bit close. As you can see, look, some of these parts have still got to be cleaned up. The dry shaft and that's loose, it's not fitted. Steering wheel's not fitted either. What you should see quite a lot as well when the engine's in, you can have both the bonnets open. So you can see all the detail. And there's no ejector pin marks as well on the chassis anywhere either. There, super. Yeah, like I say, the wheels come off. They're only just pushed on. So you can leave the wheels right till last if you want and put them on. There, as you can see, and this I'm going to use this base here to display it on. And all it is is um, a bottom of a trophy, like, like you put trophies on them. Yeah, so I'm going to cover that in, in paving bricks and I'm going to display it on that. I think I think it'll look quite nice. Yeah, so that's my little base. The instructions are so easy to follow as well, nice and easy. But like I say, that's the that's the scheme I'm gonna I'm going for. That one there. There, that's what the one I'm going for. And if you're interested, there's your paint guide. There. So you got Vallejo, Mr. Colour, AK, Mission Models and Megama. Them, them are your colours you need. I'm 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 actually using Tamiya paints. I've done I'm gonna do some some Tamiya and I think there's about three of them I should do Mr. Colour. Yeah. And there's all your parts. Well okay, that's the that's the one the option I'm going for, the one that's actually on the box art. But these is the the engine look. You can see. All these, all this wiring here. Let me lift the camera up and show you. Might be a bit easier. All this wiring here. It, you don't have to do this. It's telling you, you that symbol there means you got you can scratch build it. And it gives you the different lengths. There. So you, can, you don't have to, like I say, you don't have to fit them. And there's um. I mean, de the details on another level. Also, you've got a bit more as well. There, this is all scratch built as well. And you, there's your actual scale one to one. So you know how to bend it. Well, I'm actually, I shall you actually use wire for that to get that shape. Yeah, it gives you all your dimensions as well. So that's going to be a bit challenging. But like I said, super detail. There, as you can see. I don't need to worry about them lights. I'm not. This is this is for um, option two. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm doing option one. You can see plenty of parts. All these I've got to fit, but I've got to fit the engine before I can fit all them. There, yeah, that and I've got to fit all the engine, like say the engine as well, before I can fit that. So you got to you got to think about your sequence. Think how you're going to do it. I'm going through the instructions and I'm fitting everything on the chassis I can. Yeah, look, there's your, like I say, you can have all the engine. You can have it opened or closed if you want. So you've got your two options there. As well. Exhaust. I've jumped to the cab. Because I wanted to make sure I've got it all square and everything. So there's loads of parts. Them are the lights I'm actually doing. As well, you've got them lights there and them lights there, and then you've got options here as well. That's option one, which is the one I'm doing, and then that's your option two. There, and to finish it, 
which is the wheels is the very last step and there that will take 55 steps to get to that yeah you've also got this one as well I, mean, I like the looks of this one as well so, but I do like the one on the box art I think it's really nice and then you've got that one there as well there which is also uh, really nice they're all nice well like I said if you're thinking again it don't, don't hesitate it's another lovely kit by Mini Art and um, I'm actually again I'm actually enjoying building air trucks now they're really nice nice change from tanks so but in my next update I should hopefully be ready for painting so before I paint it I'll show you everything I've done and how far I've got so thanks for looking stay safe